This is Mary and Jenny and Nick. As you can see them all, we are um, embarking on our trip dog class today. And um, what we're going to work on, first of all, is we're going to work on training one dog at a time because that was brought up as a challenge. So first of all, in, in regard to um, working with you guys, I want to talk a little bit about clicker training. I like using clicker, um, and here's a clicker. Um, I like to use that because it helps the dogs understand what it is I'm trying to teach. Um, I think they learn faster and I think my timing is better. Um, but that doesn't always, um, sometimes there's reasons why I don't use it. So I don't use it if my hands are already full, like I have a leash and a dog and an object I'm working with, and that's not gonna work so well for me. Um, but generally I try to use it, and once my dog already knows it, then I don't need to use it as well, or already knows the trick that I'm trying to teach. So, um, one thing that we wanna do when it comes to trick dog training is we need to make sure that we're always breaking it down into small steps. We humans love to launch forward, and come up with the end, or trying to get to the final product without breaking it down into small components. And that's where we lose our dogs. So I will try to break things down. I want to like discuss it a little bit, show you what it looks like, talk about or demonstrate how to break it down into smaller components and then maybe do some troubleshooting. And then I'd really appreciate if you guys would work on it and send me some videos and post them to our Facebook group so that we can see them and discuss them. So thanks a bunch. So let's first off talk about um, the fact that I have two dogs here and I'm going to train one dog, but the other dog needs to be doing the trick of staying on the platform. So that's what I would like to have my dog do is stay on the platform. And if I want my dog to stay on the platform, I need to pay the dog for doing that work because that's work as well. So and I like having something that has pockets in it because that's where I often have my cookies. Of course, I'll call pay Nick for staying in his set. I remind him he's supposed to sit. And then we'll get Jenny. Jenny, stand. Good. And first off, we're going to work on um, eye contact. So come on, he's rubbing in. Good. So I want to pay for my dog's eye contact. Eye contact is really important to me, and it's important to you because. You can't train a dog that isn't paying attention to you. So your dog needs to be connected or being interested in working with you despite the environment that you are in. So um, I pay for eye contact. When I pay for eye contact, I can do a bunch of different things. I can smile because I like that. I can tell her what a pretty girl, girl she is or what a good dog she is. I can say yes. Um, but when I reinforce, I want to make sure that I reinforce right here, okay? I want to reinforce with my dog's head position facing me, okay? I don't reinforce out of my pocket over here because then that makes my dog want to look more at my hand or towards my pocket. A lot of times you'll see dogs that are hunkering over to the side because that's where the cookies are at. Wait. So now I have my dog that's working on some nice eye contact. Um, so if your dog is, make, first of all, if your dog, if I'm working with a new dog, the dog might not make eye contact at all. So in that case, then um, I start with the dog, I will be standing on the leash in a neutral environment so that there's nothing else for the dog to do really, as neutral as I can get. I'm standing on their leash, which is only about that long, so that they can't, do other things in the environment. They can interact with me or they can continue to sniff the ground, but the option of looking at me means that they get paid for it and they will soon decide looking at me was more important. <coughs> so if your dog is really good at eye contact, like you can see Jenny is, then I'm gonna start making it harder. One way I can do to make it harder is I can start bringing food up on the sides. And especially herding dogs are very motion sensitive. So this motion is hard for a dog to work to. Yes. Good girl. Yeah, that's hard, huh? That's hard. Especially closer down here. Yes. 
Now, because she was looking at this hand, I played out of the other hand. Just to kind of balance things out. She still thinks I'm left-handed here, which I am. Good girl. Yes. Good job. Wait. I see. Okay. Let's swap. Okay. Next. Jenny. No, 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 no. Come on. Jenny. Now we're training this dog. Ready? Yes. Good boy. This is Nickers here. You guys all know Nick. Yes. I make it easy. I have my hands behind my back. Then I can start making it harder. Put my hands out to the sides. Yes. I mark it for a good, good behavior. Yes. I also. Um, Put a word on the eye contact that I'm asking for from my dog. Oops, let me go paint this one again. Good girl, stay. Um, I start naming my eye contact when I have good behavior, so my dog is offering the behavior willingly. Then I start asking, I put the word on it, eyes. I use the word eyes because I can say it with a smile. You know, I used to use watch, it's quite a negative sound. Now I use eyes. And the dogs like looking at a smiley face. So why not? I can also make it harder for the dog. Yes. So I mark, instead of using a click, I'm using a yes as a marker to tell the dog they did the right thing. All right, good dogs. Okay, so you can see that when I have dogs switching positions, it doesn't always go perfectly, but it can go pretty well. Okay. And now I got this one again. Come on, Biz. Yes. This way to go. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's a good girl. Yes. Okay. All right. So, okay. So that's our lesson for today but I want to um, encourage you guys to work on your eye contact. You can also put your a plate of cookies nearby and have your dog work through the distraction of having the cookies there. If your dog is really good at this, then you might try having your dog do their positions on the sides with eye contact. So come here, let's do that. Come on. Good, stay. Good. And then we have that, ready? Yes. Good job. Okay. All right. Um, give it a try and post some videos or questions and then we'll get back.